First love, my superhero. You have been there for me all my life and loved me through both joy and strife. So, with gratitude, I'd like to say, Have a happy Father's Day. And I gladly welcome you to church this Sunday. Here is this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Bolanli. It's really amazing that no one really thinks about legacies and what they leave behind for the organizations and the people that surround them. Over the past decades, I've built a family, a career, a business, and people. I've become a leading woman in social enterprise through hard work and some dedication. Why not come on Tuesday, the 25th of June 2019? to the Eco Hotel and Suites by 10 a.m. for the Handmaidens Women in Leadership Series. This event is absolutely free, but registration is required. Our host is the one and only Pastor Dr. C.G. Omade. Come and learn from leading women like myself who have built and are still building legacies for the next generation. Building a legacy is a journey it's not an end point and we all have to work and do it together. My name is Osai Alile and I am built to last. The convener of the Handmaidens Women in Leadership Series, Dr. Shiju Iluyamade, cordially invites all professionals and businesswomen, both in public and private sectors, to the Handmaidens Women in Leadership Series 2019. Theme, Leading Women, Building Legacies. Keynote speaker, Dr. Olufumilayo Olokbade, MD, FACP. Dr. Olokbade is a leading hematology oncologist, professor in medicine and human genetics at the University of Chicago. Chicago. 
Kilo, internationally renowned for her expertise in breast cancer research advancement and has received numerous awards and honorary degrees from six universities. She serves as a director on several civic and corporate boards. Series anchors and moderator, Joke Silva, Mori Desalu, Osayi Alile. Panelists, Professor Shade Ogunshola, Mrs. Bolanle Austin Peters, T.Y. Bellu, Professor Enase Okonedo, Adesua Oyenokwe, Funke Bokna Obruthe, Cecilia Akintamide, Kofo Akinkube, Dorothy Atake, Achenyo Idachaba Obaro. Date, Tuesday 25th June 2019. Venue, Eco Hotel and Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos. Time, 10 a.m. Registration is free on www www.handmaidenswills.org Host, Dr. Shiju Iluyamade is a lawyer, a renowned and dedicated women leader and advocate on gender equality, children and women's rights. Dr. Shiju Iluyamade, leading women building legacies. Official hashtag, hashtag build to last. Last Tuesday has been an exciting time here in the sanctuary in which we discussed on the word rumors and how it has been spread about the church. Here is an highlight. Now, are there rumors about City of David? Can we hear some rumors about City of David? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've met somebody who told me that in City of David we are not serious with, with God and the things of God. Is that a lie? It's a very big lie because by the time I finished with that person, he came to City of David. <laughs> Let's clap for Jesus. I'll give her an every little bit. Yes, rumors, rumors. So, can we have one or two good rumors about the City of David? Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, one of the redeemed churches that is on the mainland, uh, my sister happens to be one of the pastors there. So anytime they say they are coming to visit, either that one, the name that makes them to run around is a papa family. Anytime they say a papa family is coming or somebody from COD is coming, that they will be running up and down and that everything has to be perfect and excellent. They even went to the extent of uh, painting their church <laughs> and cleaning the environment because City of David and a papa family, they are coming to visit their region. Let's clap for and Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Excellent. We are going to visit you in the house. Your toilet must be excellent. Tell your neighbor your toilet. Your toilet must be excellent. Amen. Because you are a member of the city of David. So why don't you join us this Tuesday for another interactive session at our Digging for Gold service holding here in the sanctuary by 6.30 p.m. Who do men say that I am? Have you ever looked in your mirror? As beautiful as you are, and that day you just don't look beautiful. Suddenly your nose or your eyes look distorted to you. And on some days you look in it and you are the queen of Africa. The queen of the world. And on other days, God says... Not so. Not so. You are neither bad. You are not good. You are not even good enough for me. And therefore, I lay myself prostrate before my maker. And I declare, Aka, Akaya, Aka Jehova. The handmaidings will be meeting here again this Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. as they continue on the series who am I? Ladies, please make time to attend as it is always a time to share and bond. Then on Thursday, the prayer, praise and Pentecost service will hold here at 6.30 p.m. While on Friday, the His Lord Praise Hour will hold here in the sanctuary at noon. Join us as we lift up our praise to the only living God. Later that evening at the COD Theatre, a movie an interview with God will be airing at 6 p.m. at the Junior Church. We thank God for growth on our social media platforms as we have crossed over 50,000 followers on our Instagram page. In the light of this, we want to say a very big thank you for following, liking, reposting, and commenting on our page. 
I said, Jason, who was there in the room with you? He said, it was Jesus. I said, how do you know it was Jesus? He said, because his body, his body was shiny and everything around him was light. And he didn't look like us. And I said, and I said to him, so what, did, so what did Jesus say? He said, we need to get you out of here. And that he's calling God. And he called God and God came. And God came and there were many people with him. And at that point, they took him to a corner of the room and they stayed with him. And he started hearing a lot of voices later on. His eyes were closed and somebody picked him up. And then people started running down the stairs with him. And then they ran out of the road and put him in a car. And they took him to this hotel. I said, no, it was not a hotel. It was a hospital. (laughs) And it can only be God. And, you know, a lot of times you hear these stories in other people's lives. It is a mistake in this life to not believe that God exists. Because this is from the mouth of a four-year-old. I mean, he was telling this story in the hospital room with all the machines on around him. At some point, I had to bring out my phone and start recording it. Because you will say it and people will think that you are making this up. So, we really praise God. We thank the pastors. We thank all the people who came and prayed for him. We've been able to move back into our home this week. And we really bless God for all the miracles in our lives. And we pray that in your life, nobody in this church will ever go through such trauma. And that God will always be there to provide help in time of need. In Jesus' name, amen. Have you had a similar experience? Why don't you share and let the world know that God is real and he is still in the business of performing miracles? As we bring this news broadcast to a close, our hearts and thoughts and prayers are with the people of Sudan in these trying and difficult times. We pray that the Prince of Peace will calm every storm and we declare peace in Sudan in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.